My name is Mario Navoa, a graduate of the Los Angeles Film School film program, and we are here in Hollywood, California. I think I've always wanted to be a filmmaker, and it was important for me to pursue a higher education opportunity where I was going to be actually making movies. And since I already knew what I wanted to do, was, which was direct movies, I needed to be in a place that offered me that opportunity, and that was the LA Film School. I found out about the LA Film School on the internet probably around 1999, so I go way back to the first set of classes that started at the LA Film School and what was unique about the school at that time that it was hands-on filmmaking, it was practical, and it was an immersive program and that was the biggest draw for me. I didn't want to sit in a classroom, I wanted to make movies and this was the place to do it. Everything I learned at the LA Film School from script writing to directing to production design to editing to painting flats to painting sets to uh, working with actors is everything that I apply in my career now as a documentarian and as a narrative filmmaker. I've launched a film company called Film Bliss Studios and through that company I'm developing documentary work and narrative films that speak about the LGBT experience. Most of the recent work that I've done has been documentary work. I'm releasing three feature documentaries in 2017 and we're at the tail end working on post-production at the moment. Um, I also am about to option five feature scripts to direct that have to do with bigger, larger genres like science fiction, dramas, and comedies. Um, I am currently working on three feature documentaries having to do with the LGBT community. Uh, one is called LA A Queer History, which features the history of Los Angeles from the Native American period to present day Los Angeles. And uh, we have interviewed over 20 people. Uh, Steve Buscemi and Rosario Dawson just did the narration for the film. Um, and I'm working also on a documentary about Jose Saria, who was a, the first gay person to run for office who happens to be Latino. And that was in 1961 in San Francisco. Um, all of those projects are monumental. Uh, documentary work isn't known for big budgets, um, so grants and uh, fundraising and trying to find funding for those films has been a bit of a challenge, but I'm happy to say that 2017 is going to be the year that those movies get released to a wide audience on streaming platforms so that we're going to have both theatrical and streaming opportunities for those films. Um, and then the other films, which I'm eager to be directing, are science fiction films and horror films. So two genres that I enjoy working in and I can't wait to be on the set with all the gore and the blood and all the cool science fiction sets that we can build. I think working on set, if it's a documentary film, I'm always intrigued by the history that the people dare to share in front of the camera. And to get people to talk in front of the camera is a very difficult job to do. To get them to tell something that's very authentic and truthful is even harder. But I think the breakthrough with documentary work is when people can actually just break down all their barriers and talk about uh, their history truthfully. And we can glean a part of their personality that um, I don't think that you can get sometimes in person. It's something that goes beyond being having that personal experience. It is about somebody sharing their story on camera and we can go into different layers of their si and sides of personality and history that we can show through graphic work, that we can show through photography, that we can show through archival footage or audio or music. And so with documentary work, it allows you to present people in very authentic ways and very intriguing ways. One thing that I love to do as a director is work with actors. So on the narrative filmmaking side, I get an opportunity to you know, take the paint out and paint on a canvas and work with actors and bring out the truth in their character and also encouraging them to bring out their personality through that character. So a lot of that is very difficult work, but 
working with actors is a very special opportunity. And working on a set, I think for any director, is the ultimate high. So working with actors, working with a big crew, working with the camera, working with sound, and making movies, that's for me everything. I don't think I have a mantra, but I think the thing that I always recommend filmmakers to do is to experience life. And they have to really look within themselves to not be afraid to take on things in their own personal journey because that's what makes you a better storyteller. If you can't tell a story to another person in the room with you, then you're not really being authentic. If you can't share with me your experience, how can you tell, how can you make a movie that speaks to people? We have libraries of movies that people do not watch because they're not authentic. So when I speak to filmmakers, when I speak to the people I work with, it's about being authentic. It's about being truthful because that's what comes out in our films. So being authentic, having a good life experience, being a good person with the people that you work with, and um, remembering that you're privileged to make a movie.